Hey guys, what's up? It's Dennis and I'm back with some more Pokemon Red. In the last episode, we took down a 6th gym, and in this episode, we will return, uh, I'm in Future City by the way, off screen I caught a Pidgey and taught it fly so I could get to places easier, it's in my box now. We will finally explore some new areas, Sea Route 19, Future City, to see if I'm out. Now, as you can guess, in the fishing areas, there are a heck of a lot of trainers. And yes, I will be speeding up as I always do until we get to the new city. Now, uh, during the speed up, there will be an area up on land called the Seafoam Islands. Now, I do understand that um, uh, there is something... Season veterans of Pokemon series know that there's something in Seafoam Islands, but we will actually be getting into that a little later. Also, now that we have the 6th gym and we have Surf, some areas become accessible to us. But I don't want to go over that right now. We'll go over that later. I just I just want to progress the story. Um, I'm, that's all I'm concerned with, really. Uh, I will show it uh, in the time being, but that'll be a good time to get to all the areas. But, uh, with no further uh, halting, I don't think that's a word. Let's get to the speed up section. I'll see you guys in the next town. You'll you'll know when you see it.
Okay, so I realized that I actually had to go through Seafoam Islands to continue our trip to the next city. There are some things I do want to do in Seafoam Islands, certainly, but I will show you guys what you have to do to get through it very quickly and get to the other side. And I will show what we can do otherwise, do what else we can do in there, which is really cool actually, later. Without further ado, let's trek into Seafoam Island. And first thing you'll notice, decent music. So, follow my steps exactly. Now you see these boulders. What do you do? You use strength, of course. And superstar to the boulders. Just move them. Move them all the way up. This is the majority of what you're gonna be doing, so get used to it. Okay. And you want to fall down here, hit this folder again, and by the way, every time you go to a new floor in a dungeon, you have to keep using strength, which I found really annoying. And they haven't fixed this yet in the Pokemon games, and I'm surprised, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a hassle, and I don't like having that. So you throw down there, and you see that you get transported to this water section, you just Makes you fall right to the water, which you probably will find weird. If you go over here, you'll get an Ultra Ball. Just a cool thing to do. Uh, now, as I said earlier, it's kind of weird because we're kind of going to explore like almost all this dungeon, but not do the main thing in it. I'll show you how to do that main thing later. Okay, then, let's go all the way back up. Oh, actually, wait a second. I'll go back down here. And... Walk over. Remember, you cannot use, um, you cannot use, um, bicycles in dungeons, I believe. Okay. Then you want to go up here, and up here, and you want to get all the way back up to the top of the dungeon. one will be right here. So when you're back up at the top, there's a hole you just push the rock through. There'll be another rock over here. Our repel's effect wore off. Let's use another repel. Okay. And then we will gladly put oh, oops. We will gladly push this rock. I'm sorry guys, it's probably a little tedious, but uh, it's required to move on. Alright, I'm going to fall through here. See, that's annoying, isn't it? You have to keep using strength. You must fall and make this fall through here. Then when you're here, this area should be familiar. We accidentally went through it before. Go push the rock through here. Fall down here, and now they will block the current so you can go up over here, and then up here, and then up here, and then you can exit the dungeon and get to the other side of Seafoam Island. Now, more trainers. I'm actually going to do two speed ups in one episode. That kind of sounds weird, but it's going to happen. So, um, I will see you guys in the next town. Uh, see you then?
Hey guys, I'm back. That was a really quick speed up clip. And we are now on... Wait, no, that's the Pokemon Lab. Never mind. Let me see, where will it say where we are? Cinnabar Island Pokemon Gym Leader, blame the hothead. Quizmaster, yes, we are on Cinnabar Island. Um, and, um, because this episode actually wasn't too long, even though we did a lot in it, uh, because of the two speed-up sections, let's go exploring a bit. Um, uh, now, um, uh, there is another way to this island, uh, Cinnabar Island, or the next town, and I will be showing it in the next episode, but, um, let's see what this Pokemon Lab has for us, uh, before we go. We can talk to this guy. We study Pokemon extensively here. People often bring us rare Pokemon for examination. Let's go in this room. Talk to this guy. Hello there, do you want to trade your Raichu for an Electro? You can trade Raichu for an Electro. Pretty cool. I found this very strange fossil in that room. I think it's a rare prehistoric Pokemon. Hi, do you have Venom app? Want to trade it for my tank? So yeah, there's some cool trades you can do here. That's all cool. Uh, talk to this guy. You can get him on to one of three kinds of Pokemon. But the main attraction is this guy. I made a cool HM that can cause all kinds of fun. That's the sound of Metronome. It tweaks a Pokemon's brain to using moves it doesn't know. Basically, Metronome can make a Pokemon use any move in the known Pokemon universe at this point. Actually, this is the main attraction. Hiya, I'm an important doctor. I study your rare Pokemon fossils. You, do you have a fossil for me? No, it's too bad. That so... You remember that fossil we found back in Mount Moon. We can go give it to him and get our, uh, our Pokemon. Now, he's not going to be part of my team, but, uh, and there's another fossil we can get, and I'll show you that a little bit later. But, now that we're on Cinnabar Island, I will show you next time how the other way to get it. It's actually surprising how you get there. I'll show you the other way to get to Cinnabar Island, but you'll see that next time. See you later, or next one.